Great guys, being here. So yesterday we modeled this um, structure for a stadium part of, and today let's uh, model some uh, seats. Okay, so and we are going to uh, do it quick, do it fast. Okay, so so first let's go to floor plan. So these are some detail lines. So if you Google um, stadium track. Uh, you will find the dimension it's quite simple and so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a just use model model in place and do a sweep do a sweep but before that we're going to need a section so let's create a section view so cut the whole stadium and also you will need to drag this so we will see everything in this area so right click on the this uh, section and go to view so now you will see uh, actually we only see this um, uh, structure so what I'm going to do is um, go to go back to the floor plan so I'm going to just use uh, you can use grid okay you can use grid but I'm going to just use reference plan so RP Okay, so just make sure it go all the way. Or you can also use right click and maximize 3D extend. Okay, so now select this one, CC, copy, and then copy. And I guess uh, my seat will maybe start from here. Okay. So from here and then like a stair go all the way up. And I also copy this to copy sorry, copy this to here and here. So now if we go to the section, you will see this so you know roughly where we are. Okay, where we are. So this is the edge of the other side of uh, the structure. Yeah. So now go back to the ground floor. So let's start this uh, model in place so I'm going to just model it as floor and okay so first we need to create a uh, create a sweep and I'm going to because we already have all these lines we can just you pick these lines so I'll use pick path and start from this line and here 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 so okay so and then finish this path and then go we need to edit profile so actually this section so section should be section two let's let's have a look yes so this is section two so we can start to draw the profile of the uh, the seat so this will be so so see this reference plan this will be uh, where uh, we start to place our seats so I'm going to just draw from here so uh, Hang on. where's my level? Um, okay, so let me just cancel this. And sometimes, uh, actually, I'm going to show you. So sometimes, when you cut a section, you in so for example here, you can't see any level. So if I go back to 3D view, um, I think I hide, I hit it. See, so on harder and Levels, levels are 3D. So, if you look at this level, levels not like um um what's a word indefinite indefinite um, plan. It's it's definite. It's only this big. Okay, it's just like a paper, a piece of paper sitting in the middle. And because our sections cut from roughly here, and not cut through this. Uh, level so it won't show the level in the section view so what you can do is right click on the level and maximize okay so now if I go to three section you will see them okay so now let's go back to the model in place so go back to uh, model in place floor okay okay so first let's pick the uh, sweep Pick path one, two, three, 
four and OK. Edit profile, select this section two. And now we let's draw the, uh, the profile of the stairs. So I'll start from here, go up, uh, let's say 4450. And um, I'll say 900. So this will be uh, one, one seat. OK, one seat. And then I'm going to, let me change the scale a little bit. So, OK, so AR, oh, hell. Uh, we can't do it like this. No, that's fine. So instead, of, because we can't AR array in this sketch, so what I'm going to do, because the, if we copy, it will take like two minutes. That's too long. Okay, so it's, that's too long. So I'm going to just cancel this. So instead of instead of draw the uh, profile, I'll just use detail on DL in this section view. Okay, so I'm going to draw the profile of the stairs. So 450, 900. Okay, now select this detail line, AR, and select this uh, linear, and second, and click on this here, and click on here. So let me guess, I need a 50 seat. Okay, it goes to here. Maybe we need to go a little bit further, so maybe 70. Yeah, I think that's about it. So now, okay, so that's it. And also, I'm going to select everything SA, select all the groups in this array, and ungroup it. Okay, so now we have these detail lines. We can uh, offset OF, offset. So let's say 200 thickness of this and tab click. So now we create this profile of these uh, seats or stairs and then also we need to close it. So, oh sorry, not more than a detail on DL, which is under annotate DL with here, DL. I'll just finish, I'll close it and also here. Okay, so now we can go back to um, model in place again. So model in place, floor, okay, okay, sweep, pick part, one, two, three, four, okay, edit profile, section, open view, pick line, tab, 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 oh, I can't Select everything. Yes, we can. So select everything. So and now, finish, finish, and that's it. So finish. If I click finish model, and so that's all the seat. Okay. So um, then we need some um, what's that called? Uh, tunnels or um, passageway so we can just cut some void but because uh, you can just directly edit in place and model in some void but it's easier to just uh, create a family so I'm going to just create a maybe generic model family and um, we can just create a void so so you can make it parametric so so I'll just make it parametric okay so I'll just Create or uh, draw some uh, reference plan. RP equal and equal and so let's call this uh, length L. Okay, so this will be with W and also we need a height. Okay, so I'll create this as H. And OK, so go back to floor plan and we can create extrusion and lock them onto reference plan and also go to front view, finish, drag this up, lock and lock. And let's go back to 3D view. So it's currently it's a solid, so you can just change this to void. OK, and also this is 
important so you must check this one so you will be able to use the cut tool to cut your uh, model in place in the project so okay and let's um, change the size so for example I'll change the height to maybe 30 meter high length 10 meter maybe width uh, maybe 3 meter so okay so now we can load this into the project and we can place it um, don't need to place it on face we can just place it on the ground ground floor so I'll roughly uh, place it uh, I'll say place it roughly oh, actually because this is a floor plan so the when in floor plan you cut at some level you won't see the upper level so you can just go to side plan okay or you can change the view range so then we can place this void so once again click on play place on word plan and we can place um, roughly uh, maybe or not roughly here or maybe here okay so and you can just copy them maybe uh, up there down there and also uh, I'll copy another one maybe here and you can also use array AR and use this radio and place center of rotation SC snap center and from here go all the way here oh sorry hang on let's go back I think I forgot to AR let's AR again space SC click and last okay choose last so you can click here and here and top in a number maybe I'm um, not sure maybe nine or oh, that enough oh goes to the here um, oh. how do I change it direction mm, um, I don't know can I do it like this no oh. anyway let me select all of them and mirror them up ah, that's better oh hang on I don't want to copy this A M M uncheck the copy click okay yes so um and also let's go back to 3d view and have a look so these are all the void we create so looks like they are in a group I'll just select SA select all and then ungroup and now we can just use the on the modify cut cut this uh, stairs and then click on this void oh hang on did I just oh looks like I did something wrong so edit family I think I picked the wrong option so previously so should be this okay so remember not this is not critical in this exercise this is not critical but this one is cut with void because we are not creating a face based void so this we need have this checked okay okay so now we can cut click on the stairs and then click on the void and it looks like quite slow probably because this is a big very big model I mean um, so what you can do is control C so when sometimes when when uh, dealing with big you know model uh, a very big like model in place uh, it's good to um, separate them trying to separate separate them so so for example for this sweep it's a whole length so what you can do is you can just copy the whole thing and mod modify one of them and then paste in same place and then edit again and edit sweep 
edit path just so and instead of one whole thing become four of them and also um, now we can just go to floor plan and uh, maybe side plan and I'll just mirror mirror it and the mirror maybe need to DM okay so now let's go to 3d view so now we have four instead of one whole uh, big model so now let's try cut see now it's faster it's much faster maybe uh, three times faster than before okay and also uh, yeah if you need some more uh, uh, tunnels um, or passageway on the top you can just copy uh, this um, void so for example copy them up there and you can cut um, as long as it's high enough to cut the stairs okay so that's it um, what do you think yeah um, if um, yeah for early stage I think this should be okay but uh, later on when you start to model all the walls everything maybe uh, you start to instead of use model in place you start to maybe create stairs actual stairs or create walls or floors but um, for presentation or early stage I think this should be okay okay so that's it for today uh, our I'll see tomorrow maybe I will have a look of the external the the facade let's have a look of that one okay so that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow thank you Bye.